Hi, I'm John Gernick from the Felpro Field Test Garage in Skokie, Illinois. I'm going to talk to you today a little bit about the importance of torque sequence, uh, how to torque things up in the proper method, the proper way to do it, and take you over to the computer and show you how to look things up on FM ECAT. So no matter what engine manufacturer or application you're working on, it's important to let that engine cool down first before you start working on it. So put your hand on it. If it feels warm, wait. Let it cool down because with today's lightweight castings, um, it's important that things are cold or cool so you don't damage them or cause them to warp. So before you start removing anything, either go look them up on FM ECAT or in your manual and see if there's a specific sequence that the manufacturer wants you to remove the bolts from whatever component you're removing, whether it's a valve cover, intake, or specifically a head gasket. That's most important. So I'll take a look, look it up. If, there, if you don't find a sequence on how to remove those bolts in a specific order, then go in the reverse order of the torque sequence. That's important. Loosen that load in steps. Don't just loosen one bolt all the way right away. Go in steps. A quarter turn at a time is usually a good way to do it. And then once you've got the clamp load released from those castings, then go ahead and finish taking those bolts out the rest of the way. So when you're ready to look up the torque specs that you need for the application you're working on, whether you're going to loosen those head bolts up or you're ready to install that Felpro head gasket, go to fme-cat.com to look up the specs that you need. So once you get that site opened up, you can go over here to technical info, specification lookups. Click on that, that'll open up for you. And over on the left side of the screen, you'll see Torque Specification Lookup. Click on that, you have a couple to choose from. We're gonna choose cylinder head in this case. Uh, let's say we're working today on a 2002 uh, Chevrolet product. Uh, in this case, it's a, gonna be a 1500 uh, pick em up truck. There's plenty of those out there and uh, you get down to the engine, we have three to choose from. We're working on the 5.3 LS engine, very popular application out there that we cover. You'll scroll down to the bottom of the screen. Once you do that, you'll see we offer a wide variety of information here. And it's broken down by the models. In this case, we have a base LS LT, and it's also broken down by the VIN numbers. In this case, there's VIN Zs and VIN T. So you choose the one that you're gonna be working on and you'll see here in the middle of the screen the steps that you need to do, uh, what you need to torque those bolts to. If you need a visual picture, if you go over on the left side of the screen, click on the little wrench, that'll open up. And that'll give you a picture of the cylinder head. The bolts are all numbered and at the bottom, it'll tell you what to torque those bolts to. Um, then what I like to do is uh, I'll print that off. Um, then I've got a piece of paper. I can take that right over to the engine bay. I don't have to run back and forth to the computer. Um, some of you may want to look this up on your iPad. Take your iPad over to the engine bay. But in this case, piece of paper, if it gets dirty, greasy, doesn't matter, then I'm done. So I can torque up my cylinder head and and move on to finishing the rest of the engine installation. So, I'm John Gurney. I'm live from the Felpro Field Test Garage in Skokie, Illinois, and I'll see you soon.